Hey everybody, welcome back to another Table Topper. Today, we'll be taking a look at the 22 plus WRX diverter valve. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so let's get the box open here and we'll see what we're working with. As per usual, right on top, we're gonna have our warranty along with the instructions, which we will take a look at in just a little bit. Diving into the meat and potatoes of what we get in the box here, we're gonna have the diverter valve housing itself. As you can see, this is gonna be in a lovely red anodized finish. This is gonna have a great feel to it. And with this being a part that goes underneath the hood, it is going to be everlasting. Alongside that, you're gonna have the spring for your diverter valve. You're gonna have two options here. You'll have a medium rate spring and a high rate spring. And you can install these all depending on the type of tune that you're running on your car. Medium rate's gonna be better for a stock slash lower PSI tune. And the high rate spring will of course be better for those higher PSI tunes. Now we also have the diaphragm slash piston for the diverter valve. This will coincide with the housing itself and make it a complete part. You're also going to have a resistor pack. This will be installed during installation to make sure you don't have any issues with any check engine lights related to the diverter valve. You will also have a 7 32nd inch vacuum hose alongside a half inch to quarter inch reduction T. And of course, you will also have a couple 6 by 14 millimeter button head socket cap screws. And these will be in a stainless steel finish once again, making sure that it is corrosion resistant and well lasting underneath the hood. And of course, last but not least, you do have your warranty, your instructions, which as you can see, are a couple pages, nothing too crazy, a few pictures there to help you along your installation journey, and your stickers. So there you have it. That is everything you will receive in the box with your 22 plus WRX diverter valve. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Love to see the interactions. And if you're interested in why you might want this diverter valve and the benefits it reaps on your car, then stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive deeper into the differences between our diverter valve and Subaru's. And if you like the video, y'all know what to do.